Well, it's been an interesting year of politics. The Griner affair, the Kenneth Goss victories, the Keating Hewson battle, a champagne year of political title fights. And for every one of these, I've had a million metaphors. In fact, I've had more metaphors than you can poke a stick at. Oops, there I went again. And for this entire time, while all this has been going on, I've been stuck behind this desk. Always the same bloody desk with the same fucking background. Why couldn't I do it from outside for once? Peter Harvey gets to go outside. Well, not much has happened in federal politics today, so why am I here? Well, I guess I just enjoy getting out, standing in front of Parliament House and saying in a deep, slow voice, Peter Harvey. And what's with the pause? Peter Harvey. One, two, three, four. Canberra. I could do that if I wanted to. Paul Lynham. Behind the same f***ing desk camera. <laughs> Has he said it yet? <laughs> eh? Still super glued to that spot outside Parliament House. That's what you need to get credibility in political reporting in this country. A voice four octaves below Barry White's. <laughs> or you need to be slowly self-inflating like Laurie Oakes. Why do they force feed that man? <laughs> There's another baritone. He's already got Sunday, but whoops, he's got a deep voice. So why don't we give him another f***ing program? Nightline, please take it, Jim. Why couldn't they give it to me? Well, that's about it for Nightline. Don't forget my other show, Sunday. That's two shows I have. Before we go, a smug smile. And I'll throw to a story about the cat that can count. Good night. I can read cat stories all night if I want to. How's the old mate Pete going? <laughs> well, you might say, why don't I go for another job? But I did. Unfortunately, they gave the job of hosting keynotes to Richard Wilkins. 